2010, when I read the comments of people who are not aware, who are ignorant, who do not want to ask questions, they just want to comment for commenting sake, so that people will say that they have said something. Those who like to run election on that social media platform. No. 2010, the federal government awarded the contract of the vice president residence. The federal government awarded, not Tinibu's government. In 2010, and this contract was awarded at the cost of 7 billion naira to Jelos Bega. Now check 2010 and 2023, 13 good years, this project was abandoned. Now, a reasonable government comes to Seluk. Do we, having spent some money in this project, do we abandon it, wasting taxpayers' money? And the company said, look, they are willing to complete it, but you cannot give all the same rate of 2010 and 2023. It's not possible. It's not possible. And they gave their rate. And by Mr. President's approval, we have to send it to a Bureau of Public uh, Procurement. We are waiting for the Bureau of Public Procurement to give us the final note of how much we spend. But the point, even if that is okay, it should not be used by Mr. Vice President. That does not mean it cannot be put into use by other people. So many of us have seen visiting heads of state in this city. What is wrong? When you have a visiting head of state, it's okay, put him in such residence. So, people should not be sentimental and telling lies. We did not award that contract. The contract was awarded in 2010. All we are merely doing, because of our policy of not leaving other projects that we continue to be abandoned, we felt we should continue with those projects. Look at the Merino Center, was awarded in 2001. A center that was supposed to be an hour of attraction. A center, if it was completed, would have turned this city to a tourist center. It was abandoned. As a policy of this government, we thought that such a project is necessary to be completed. And we have taken steps to say we must complete it. People should commend the administration and not to make statements blackmailing and telling the public lies, teachers of lies, just like as they told that they won an election when they never won any election. Nigerians know those who won election through the electorate. Nigerians know those who won election in social uh, media. Let them continue to be telling uh, lies.